Hi, I'm Nicholas White. I'm Senior Director for Global Solutions in APCO's Brussels office. And we're here to have a thought experiment about what happens if Brexit should actually be postponed beyond the middle of the year. Um, in fact, my prediction is that Brexit will happen on schedule and uh, it will happen very nastily. Uh, but let us always be open to the other alternatives. In that case, the British officials who are currently representing the UK in the EU's various bodies, like the European Court of Justice, like the various consultative committees, they will continue to maintain the British representative role. Um, but there's a very important question about what will happen to the members of the European Parliament. Ordinarily, they should all be elected at the end of May. Um, there's been an arrangement made where the 73 seats currently held by British MEPs will be redistributed, at least some of them will. But if the UK is still in at the time of the European elections, then there must be British members of the European Parliament. So my guess would be that those 27 seats will be held in reserve for the moment that Brexit actually happens, because otherwise the European Parliament will be too big. Then the second question is, what about the 73 British seats? Those members' terms all expire at the end of June uh, to coincide with the end of the uh, European electoral term. I think that there are three options. It's possible if the delay in implementing Brexit is going to be a short one. It's possible that the sitting members' terms could simply be extended by a couple of months if that's all there is. It's possible also that uh, some excuse could be found for a tran transitional mechanism where British MEPs are appointed by the British Parliament. This would be a bit irregular, but it might be more tolerable than the, uh, than the other alternatives. And the biggest question of all is, maybe neither of those solutions will work. Maybe it will be necessary to have fresh elections for the 73 British members of the European Parliament, even though Britain is theoretically about to leave. That will be a very peculiar circumstance. It may seem like a small detail of the procedure, but to be honest, I think it's probably the biggest reason why Brexit, if it happens at all, is going to happen before the end of June.